are three words that best describe you? I would say sweet. And smart. You slept with six people to get to me. Shut up. Why is Kim Kardashian so famous? You don't have any, forgive me, any talent. Anything's better than that fake piece of Would you say that they're accurate? Most definitely. The big news about you, Kim Kardashian West wants to become a lawyer. Kim went to war for me. How long have you been in for? I've been incarcerated since I was 16 years old. I would beat the crap out of Kim Kardashian, actually. Any girl who, like, is famous and idolized because she made a sex video with some guy. I felt humiliated. You know there are people who say that you put it out yourself. You know that. Do you believe her? Let her do what she was born to do. Punk bitch. Kim's godfather and one of Robert Kardashian's closest friends, O.J. Simpson. Going through the O.J. Simpson trial had a very strong effect on her life later on. Kim K was robbed at gunpoint. While I'm being tied up, I'm like, are we going to die? Are they going to kill us? She's a baby. She needs to go to bed. Not everything is what you think it is. In February 2007, a sex tape made by Kim and singer Ray J in 2003 was leaked. We've all heard about it. It's kind of what she became famous for initially. Would you be where you are had there not been a sex tape? <sighs> you know there are people who say that you put it out yourself. You know that. She kept the tape. I didn't have you know, control of the tape, and I definitely didn't have it in my possession. And Ray J hates to hear me say this, but I'm gonna say it. Uh huh. With all of the hoopla about it being Ray J mm -hmm. and people trying to blame him, mm -hmm. did you see him on the cover of Playgirl? You know, I think why would anyone put that humiliation on their family mm -hmm. like that? Do you believe her? I believe her, yeah. I believe her, you know. But, I mean, you know, in this business, you know, it's hard to trust anybody. You know, and that's something that I'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life and have to explain to my children one day. Imagine that conversation I had to have with my grandmother. And you're most glad you didn't have to explain it to? My father. June 24th, 1984, and there's Kimberly Kardashian with her beautiful mascara. Now, what do you two beauties have to say to your daddy on this wonderful Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Oh, Happy Sunday. that was sweet. What do you want to say to him? You did it better before. Clearly the toughest time in your life was when you lost your dad. Uh, and that eclipses everything else. But your, your dad was defending O.J., right? Tough. Yeah. yeah, he was. I understand that there was a lot of tension when he became O.J. Simpson's lawyer. Yes. Hi, everybody. Hi. Here we are. Coming We're to you. so excited. In 1994, when Kim was only 13, the family faced a serious rift. Your children used to call O.J. Uncle O.J.? Uncle O.J. and Auntie Nicole. And Robert Kardashian had been friends with O.J. Simpson since college. O.J. asked Robert to be one of the attorneys who represented him in what many call the trial of the century. My family was always super close, except for the time when my dad was representing O.J. and my mom was Nicole's best friend. He seemed to be conflicted himself. Were you angry with him for defending him? I was disappointed and I was confused. I didn't understand how he didn't see what I saw. One day, my dad took me and Courtney into the trial, and then my mom happened to be sitting with Nicole's family, and we looked over, and my mom's like looking at us, like, what are you girls doing here? And why are you sitting on that side? It was like the first time my family really got divided. He wanted to be a loyal friend, and that's exactly who Robert was. I asked you if you yourself doubt O.J. Simpson's innocence. I have doubts. Robert Kardashian died only eight weeks after being diagnosed with cancer. He never had the time to repair the damage he caused to his family. Kim never got over it. She threw herself in a bunch of unhealthy relationships. Kim, did your first husband, Damon, abuse you? Did he beat you up? Kim and Chris headed for divorce just 72 days 
after tying the knot. Every paper this morning talking about it, big blank sham on the New York Post. Is Kanye West the new fairy tale? Um, blush, blush. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. When you hear about slavery for 400 years, for 400 years, that sounds like a choice. <laughs> you was there for 400 years and it's all of y'all? I'm disappointed, I'm appalled, and brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something, to me, that's not real. Baby, you wanna think and write it down before you say it. The story that everybody's talking about, and I still am very conflicted, um, Kim Kardashian being pregnant. But I've been saying she's going to be a single mom, and, and he is going to be a lot to deal with. Kim and Kanye are now engaged. Wow. Congratulations to you, Kim. Um, boy, you're gonna get it now. I am embarrassed for Kim Kardashian. I'm not gonna even call you Wes, because clearly that's not a real marriage. Kim K was robbed at gunpoint. I would hope that she's not making any part of this story up just for dramatic effect. You know, because of this family, and they're kind of soulless. It was the scariest thing I've ever been through in my entire life, just thinking that, you know, you're about to die. I was in Paris, it was fashion week, and Kim decided to stay home. The thieves came into the main entrance of the building and walked down this corridor and convinced the concierge to come and open up the doors and let them in. Are they putting a gun into you? Yes, like this. Abdul demonstrated how the bandits and ski masks forced him to open her door, bursting in on a terrified yes. Kim who was awake on the bed in her bathrobe. Right as I was about to fall asleep, I heard guys running up the stairs. Kim Kardashian's there, she's screaming. Yeah. They go and grab her, are they pointing the gun at her? They wanted my ring and my jewelry, so I didn't fight back, I just gave them everything. He was shaking her, you know, shaking her with a gun. And they tied me up. A wrapped duct tape over my eyes and my mouth. First, her wrists, then her feet, and taped her mouth shut. The concierge says Kim was begging for her life. And while I'm being tied up, I'm like, are we going to die? Are they going to kill us? And I was just like crying and like, tell them I have babies. I have babies, I have babies, don't hurt me, I'm a mom. She was wearing a hotel bathrobe and nothing else. I had no clothes on under, so he pulled me towards him at like the front of the bed and I thought like, okay, this is the moment they're gonna rape me. And I fully like mentally prepped myself and then he didn't and he like duct taped my legs together. Then more terror as a robber lifted her off the bed. And he put her just beside the bus. They put her on the floor? On the floor, yeah. They leave her on the floor like this? Yeah. You're just kind of bracing yourself for the moment that they're gonna shoot you and kill you. That 10 minutes really changed my whole life. Eventually, she managed to free herself and make contact with her sister, Courtney. Kim called me screaming. I'm gonna try not to cry. That, I can't even talk about it. Today I have anxiety, so I'm like, oh, I hope I just don't start. Is it because Kanye's gone? Maybe I was thinking that. Stop, stop, stop it. Hey, hey, radio, you. Radio, you. It's the 911 call made the night Kanye West suffered a mental breakdown. You're his doctor, sir, is that correct? Yes, correct. Google lied to you. Facebook lied to you. I'm just calling for my cell phone to request if we can have some police backup. Get ready! Get ready! Because the show's on. So if you can just keep an eye on him, don't keep an eye on him. Let him get any weapons or anything like that. If anything changes, if he does become physically combative between now and when the police and or paramedics get their calls back immediately. I get a call from one of Kanye's friends and my heart drops. Don't scare me, please. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> There's
there's those moments in life that really change you and like shake you to your core. And my robbery was definitely that moment for me. I know this sounds crazy, but I know that was meant to happen to me. And I don't want to start crying, but like, I really feel like things happen in your life to teach you things. Yep. And this was like, I'm yep. just... Material things used to be so important to me. Like, I measured my success by my material things. Right. But there is nothing material that is important to me. It's all replaceable, none of it matters. Just you. I'm so happy that my kids get this me and that this is who I'm raising my kids because I, I just don't care about that stuff anymore. Really? You know, I really don't. Our life is just going to have to change. The big news about you, Kim Kardashian West wants to become a lawyer. Yes. That's a good thing. I learned from a bad experience that I had. Um, when I was robbed that I really had no idea how broken the system is and I just figured if I know more about the system I can do more for the system and that's just the type of person that I am it, it really interests me it's completely taken over my life my introduction to the system all started with a woman named Alice Johnson she had been in prison for 22 years all on a nonviolent drug offense I'm not saying that I didn't deserve some time, but a life plus 25 year sentence for a first time non-violent offender, it seems like everyone gasped. I went in at 41. A team of attorneys were assembled from New York to Dallas, to Memphis, to Los Angeles, and Kim went to war for me. The truth is, I just saw something that seemed really unfair to me, and I thought that I had a voice. It became this mission that I just didn't want to give up. I don't want to be put in a box if you only have to do this because this is what people think of you. I saw a comment where someone said, you need to stay in your lane. You can have ambitions, but don't be too ambitious. I, I read it to my husband in bed, and I was just like, this will even push me harder. I have to say, when you're discussing this subject, you light up. It's like it's purposeful. I'm sitting here with um, my two attorneys and we're, we're just looking over everything and trying to figure out what a good plan is. I'm not trying to excuse myself, Holly. I want to make that clear because I did make that choice to do what I did. But sometimes you make excuses for your actions and before you know it, it's deeper in, further down. I think we really all are one bad decision away from disaster, all of us. Miss Alice. Hi, Kim, how you doing? You don't know? No, nope, she doesn't know. You're oh. telling her the news. Oh my gosh, Alice, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> it was Kim Kardashian West who called Alice with the good news. <laughs> Alice Marie Johnson is home. Love this woman. Love this lady. Why are you doing this? People are just so surprised to hear it. Talk about the reason. Because I saw my dad's passion to do the right thing. He would always want to help people, and I just was so intrigued and so into it. You know, I wish my dad was here to see it. He would be totally rooting me on. Follow your honest beliefs and stay strong. What drew me to Miss Alice Johnson was just knowing that, you know, a decision she made tore apart her whole family. This is about her father. She's making peace with him by doing the right thing. when they see Kim Kardashian, they're like, oh, that girl from the reality show. But I actually sensed just an evolution. Yeah. She's not the 25-year-old people know from the reality show. Well, we all grow and yeah. we all evolve. What I love to do, and I think no matter what it is in life, I think you can do whatever you want to do if you put your mind to it. Kim Kardashian is going to become a lawyer. And they laugh. And they laugh. I will convince you that this is a good idea.
touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Kim has been anointed to do this, and no one better not touch her, even with her mouth. <laughs>